see how they play it. And right off the bat, they hand the ball to John Avery, and he's dropped by Jermaine Miles. Miles really coming on now, boss. Absolutely. Jermaine Miles, the last few games, has come on like gangbusters. And you saw what he said just before halftime was started. He said, what, fatigue? What's that word? He needs to start smoking this the second half right now, and I tell you what, that plays like that's going to get this San Francisco defense excited. James Williams is the demon top tackle. McDougal throwing it long, incomplete. Well, we've got a marker down. That's the second second pass interference on Kevin Kaysenhorn tonight. Pass intended for Junior Lord. Kaysenhorn really in a slump. But Kevin leads the team with three interceptions, but he also leads the team in pass interference tonight, which is a big play that's given Chicago the kind of life they need to sustain drive and keep that ball out of the hands of the San Francisco offense. Pass interference, defense number 27. Ball will be placed at the spot of the foul, automatic All right, first Kevin, down. And there's really no reason for him to, to interfere here. The ball is way out of thought. That's a picky foul. I'm not seeing, I might have seen it before. I don't I don't see pass interference here. It might have happened a little bit beforehand there, Boz. Might, might have happened a little bit before. Four penalties, 76 yards for the Demons. 19 to 6 our score. McDougal. Play action. He's open. Throws a rope. Pass caught. Ty J. Armstrong. And that's funny, and it's funny because we talked to Devon Myers yesterday, and I said, why don't you like to use your tight end? He says he's the best blocking tight end in the XFL, but he can't catch and go. Well, he just caught that ball right there, and that's a big play for Chicago. 19 yards. They say that Willie Tate is the better of the two receivers. So Chicago driving again. John Avery, the back. McDougal pump, throws, he's got his man, and it's caught out of bounds, Luke Leverson, out near the 12-yard line, 30-yard catch. And over the last couple of games, Luke Leverson has become Kevin McDougal's favorite target. He's able to get the kind of separation he needs to get that ball when the ball just got flipped up in the and that's the thing that that Kevin McDougal adds to this offense. He adds that third dimension, and now when the running game isn't going, he's able to see downfield and get that ball moving. Black and Chicago on first down. Avery skips to the outside. Doesn't get much, however. Chased out of bounds.